Hi, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're doing well. Uh, previously on film pickups, we've only seen books, uh, but on this one, we'll be looking at books, uh, new medium format film camera, and some film stocks that I've not shot before that I recently purchased. So let's get to it. So the first book is Friend of Mine by Matt Day. This book has a collection of images that Matt created during 2013 and 2014 in and around his hometown of Chillicothe, Ohio. He self-published this book and it came out in two editions. Over the last few months, I have grown to love photography books and they are a major source of inspiration for me. And I think that's because I enjoy the experience of sitting with a book um, where sometimes it satisfies the curiosity of a place uh, I've never been to. Sometimes it takes me on a trip down my memory lane because what I see reminds me of something in my life uh, that happened in the past. Or sometimes it's just the appreciation of the work that has gone into making these books, it's two, three, five, or even 10 years of, uh, of work. Uh, and these books teach me to be patient uh, with my growth and, and my work. And I think Mad Day's book, you know, would sit nicely in that category. So when I purchased this book, I was at the beginning of that photo book addiction, let's say. For those of you that don't know Mad Day, uh, Mom, Matt, is a photographer. He also makes YouTube videos that I've been watching for over a year now. And he suddenly inspired me to start my own channel. And I have learned a few things in relation to film photography through his tutorials. Anyway, the first edition of this book was already sold out when I came to know about it. So when Matt announced that there was going to be a second edition, I wanted to get one to support him. Uh, in the first place and, and also to see his work. As a result, more than it being, you know, supporting an artist that I admire, this book is one that I keep coming back to because it is such a trip. There's always something new that I notice. And overall, it is a beautiful book uh, and you can kind of feel the intimacy between Matt uh, and, and his hometown in these images. It is sold out now, though, so unfortunately you may not be able to get them like in from proper stores unless it's on eBay. But uh, Matt does have the photos from this book on his website uh, that you all can go have a look. I will link that in the description below. And and mom will also put his YouTube channel and Instagram there for you. Okay. <laughs> The Winter We Walked Alone. Uh, this is a book I picked up in December from Tom Humble, who is a wedding photographer based in uh, South End on Sea. It's a small, quaint little seaside town in, in England. He runs his own wedding photography business with his wife. Uh, Tom also has a YouTube channel where he shares some of his work and his process behind it. This project was shot during one of the more severe lockdowns here in the UK during the winter of 2020 when we all were kind of allowed to be outside for exercising just for an hour on a daily basis. Um, this resonated with me right away because this was a book about something that I too experienced at the time. It was a different place with different people but you know what I mean you know COVID uh, is a common denominator for all of us this past couple of years and and I was curious to see what Tom created during that time. After seeing the images I can say that Tom documented the bizarre sometimes unreal isolating moments as they are and it is a mixed bag of an emotional ride for me the book uh, because some of them remind me of the mental toll it took on me and the people I know it reminds me of people we lost and some of it reminds me of how people rallied together to help each other during those times another thing to note is that 50 percent of all the profits from this book goes to mind charity which is a mental health charity here in the UK and 
And I think there are still some books available if you want to support Tom and and this mental health charity. Uh, just reach out to him. I will link his Instagram and YouTube below. So please do check him out. In my opinion, this book is a timely and also a timeless piece of work that, you know, when you look at it years down the line, it'll be sure to bring back memories that are really personal to you. Um, so in that regard, I think it is an important piece of work to own. Uh, I do recommend it. So go grab a copy. In other news, I had the pleasure of sitting down with Tom for a YouTube video and that'll be out either next week or the week after. So if you're not subscribed, please consider subscribing and turn on the notification bell. Moving on to gear. For medium format, as most of you watching this channel already know, I shoot with the Pentax 6x7. And, and I think I've put close to 50 rolls through it. Uh, it is a great camera for what I need. It does the job perfectly, more than enough. Um, but when I want to backlight or if I'm out on trails for a few hours, it's not the lightest camera to have. So I wanted a light medium format camera. I didn't need one, but I wanted one uh, that wouldn't break the bank uh, or my back. Uh, I didn't want to be restricted to just one focal length. So a medium format camera with a zoom lens that is lightweight and doesn't compromise on image quality was what I was after. Um, there are, of course, your Mamiya 6s, Mamiya 7s, Bronica 645 rangefinders, Makina Plowbell 6x7s, but they all cost at least an arm and a leg, if not more. This one had really good reviews online, uh, and I have used and loved Fujifilm cameras for well over five years now, so I went for it. I did visit Brighton recently to put a couple of test rolls through it. I wanted to share that in the same video on this one but I have not gotten to scanning one of those rolls yet, so it'll be on another video probably in the next couple of weeks or so. Right, film stocks. These are not special films, although the way Kodak is increasing their prices, they all better be. Um, <laughs> anyway, some of these I bought months ago, some of them I recently picked up. Uh, I just have not gotten around to shooting them. I've been focused more on black and white film stocks lately, but but yeah, Lomography seem to be making fun stocks. Never shot one before uh, in color or black and white. So I have here a couple of different color stocks from them. They're Metropolis and the um, uh, Lomography 400 in 135 format. I have not shot Ektar before, and it seems like a controversial film stock. People either love it or hate it. I didn't expect that to be the case, but the more I see people talk about it, the more it seems seems that way. <laughs> uh, or maybe it's a joke and I don't get it. Either way, I have it now to try out. Uh, I also picked up Provia 100F in 135 format, a slide film that I've been wanting to try for quite a while now. Uh, and finally, I picked up more Ektachrome in 135 and 120 format. So, so yeah, except a bunch of more videos on all of this. That's it for this week. Uh, before I go, I want to mention that I see about 87% of the watch time comes from non-subscribers. So if you want to support this channel, please consider subscribing. As you can see, I have a bunch of videos um, coming up on photography, film stocks, and interviews with uh, photographers and the likes. Uh, it would really be helpful for this channel to grow if you can subscribe turn on the bell notification and and all that good stuff but but yeah that's it for this week uh i hope you enjoyed that thank you so much for giving me your time as always uh, i hope it was worthwhile um, take care and and i'll see you in the next one bye